Hey guys and girls, what's going on? Veridia here, and uh, today I just wanted to bring you a little video uh, talking about a subject that I wish I, somebody that I knew had made. Um, I know a few people have made the video before. Anyway, I'm going to get to the subject. Is it worth the purchase for the PlayStation Vita? And uh, hey, how's it going? Um, don't worry about these little things. These are from the screen protector and I don't know what, I guess a french fry particle got in there because I was eating when I put it on there. Uh, but in any case, is the PlayStation Vita worth the purchase? And the, 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 the reflection really is kind of pulling away from the, uh, from the system itself. But in any case, is it worth it? Um, I got my hands on one, uh, so I figured I would play around with it for a few days. I would try it out, and then I would let you guys know if it was worth it. The past couple days, I've been playing around with this guy. And, uh, you know, tinkering with it, seeing all the bells and whistles about what this thing is. And, uh, I gotta say, it's pretty neat. Is it worth the money, though? Mmm, I don't know. I, I can't say yes yet. Um, there is one reason why. And, um, that's because... Uh, the games are kind of limited. Um, and now I'm not talking about PlayStation Portable titles. Now, if you didn't own a PSP or you did and you absolutely loved it, um, trade up because you can buy all the PSP uh, downloadable titles on this. Use this as your PSP. And not only that, the number one badass feature about this is that you can map. So most games like uh, Siphon Filter and... Uh, Monster Hunter, they they use the these as uh, as to, to 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 move the camera and whatnot, or this, they, you know. So you would be playing because it had one analog stick. So you'd be playing, walking around like this, and you'd have to use these to change the camera or the shoulder buttons or the diagonal. Here, you can map all of these to this stick. So yes, you can map it, and you can use this as your as your camera. Yeah, it's freaking awesome, and. It's one thing that makes this worth the purchase. I will tell you that right now. That just that fact alone, if you're a PSP gamer like I am, makes it worth the purchase. Because these games become ten times more playable when you can use this as a uh, as a camera movement device. Now let me go ahead and, and kind of give some of the features really quick of the, the PlayStation Portable. And uh, we'll get into a little bit more depth. <clears throat> I finally got Sammy out of the house for a little bit, so I won't have a, a screaming baby on the on the side, um, interrupting the videos. So, what is the PSP uh, when it comes to the hardware? Well, it's basically like carrying around a miniature PS3 in a way. I mean, it's it's got an insanely good graphic system. We'll get into showing that off a little bit, but. For a handheld system, this is as advanced as it's going to get for right now. Um, the biggest feature, obviously, being this right analog stick, and um, just the overall feel of how uh, uh, the, the way it feels is is amazing. That's fuzz on my finger. Um, <laughs> you're going you're going to get a, an awesome feel out of this thing. It's really light. It's surprisingly light. Surprisingly thin for uh, uh, a handheld system it weighs I, I, it has to weigh less than that brick of a of a PlayStation portable that they they had um, the first wave not maybe not the uh, god dang it I can't get it off my finger uh, maybe not the 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 PS3 2 and 2 and, or 1 2 and 3000 or whatever but the the Sony PSP first issue big ass bitch is definitely heavier than this this thing it feels the screen a little bit larger than the PlayStation Portable um, it's a lot sleeker looking to me um, maybe it's, it, you know it, it's probably just the appeal of this this guy I never let me lick my finger oh, oh yeah oh yeah no it's, <laughs> that gross. but uh, it's it's definitely worth it you might be able to see here there's a little not, not the camera in the reflection, but there's a little camera right there. That's the front-facing camera, as well as a back camera. So there's dual camera shits going on here. This back area here is actually a touch screen, a, re a reverse touch screen, which is pretty neat. 
And not to mention that the whole front screen itself is touchable. I'm sure you know all this bullshit. You got the, uh, oh, you got the volume up and down right there, the power button, uh, the game cart slide in here. I don't know what this one does yet. And this is the power adapter slash data hub, um, or whatnot. So let's go ahead and turn this bitch on and uh, take a look. I got a Diablo uh, screensaver there. This thing is glossy as all hell. It's going to be tough to show you the screen. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much your your main hub. And you can see they got rid of the XMB interface. They switched it out for these little bubble fucks. I don't, you know, I really don't like this, to be honest. I don't like the bubbles because I'm pretty unorganized. I like it when a game system organizes its shit for me so that I can't mess it up. As you can see, this is totally just messed up. I tried to do some organization, like here's the apps. Fuck you, here's some more apps. Trophies and shit. This is shit I won't look at, you know. And then I got the games on the front screen, the game demos down here. And uh, as you can see, um, I only have two games, and that's Uncharted and Unit 13. Uh, these are the only Vita games that I have. Why? Because those are the only Vita games that I want. Other than Stardust, uh, Super Stardust Delta, which looks pretty cool. Gravity Rush looks pretty cool. And Katamari is for Brittany. But, um, God, you know, honestly, I just want something like a platformer. And there, there's nothing here that's a 3D platformer. Like, where's Ratchet and Clank? I know it's really early in the life of this thing. But still, that's what I'm wanting to see from this system. And it just doesn't have it yet. Uh, you can go here to the uh, to the PlayStation Store. And we can take a look here. Um, these are pretty much, well if it'll load these are the Vita games on I mean this is every Vita game right here pretty much I mean yeah it looks like there's a lot but a lot of them just don't appeal to me Virtua Tennis fuck you and these are the two I have Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom you guys know I'm not a fighter player I mean there are games that will appeal to you I'm sure that don't appeal to me they're really good but a lot of these I just don't want or I've heard that they're horrible like Shinobu 2 or uh, Semione 3 or 2, I've heard that suck. Resistance got horrible ratings. Already beaten Rayman Origins. Got it for the PS3. You don't need it. Pure chess, shit. Um, Plants vs. Zombies looks cool. But that's not what I want to pay 15 bucks for. I want a, I want a real game on here. Ninja Gaiden, got that for PS3. Don't need it for this. Mortal Kombat, I don't. I got that for PS3. Don't need it on here. Luminous. It's the same damn PSP game. I mean, it looks the same to me. Maybe some different songs and shit. I don't care. I wouldn't, you know, it's not a game that I'm going to pay freaking, you know, 30 something bucks for. Um, yeah, there's some good titles on here, but there's just not enough. It's just too early in the life to say buy it for all the damn exclusives that you have. Now, what you can do, what's pretty cool, there's three cross play games. These you can play on your PS3 and also play on the Vita. And then you've got all these freaking PSP games to choose from which is pretty cool and that's one thing that I would check out is PSP games that were ruined like if you're one of those people like me a, a game was literally ruined for you ruined because of the of it missing this analog stick check this out it's going to be pretty cool to to play those games now uh, the truth is is I haven't checked out how well it works yet I'm actually downloading Monster Hunter Freedom Unite because I never got to uh, to try that just simply I, I did try I didn't try Unite, but I tried uh, Monster Hunter, Freedom, whatever, the, the first one that was on the PSP, and I could not play it because I just could not get a hold of the controls. Now I'm going to be able to play that game on the PSP or on the Vita and get that analog stick action going. So what else does it have other than just gaming? Well, it's got some pretty, some pretty neat other features. One that I just, oh, we're installing Monster Hunter. Um, one that I found that was freaking sweet was Skype. And the reason that Skype is awesome on this is because, is simply because the, the camera works so well, oops, uh, the camera works so well with it that you can literally just, I mean, if you got something you want to show your friend, this is one awesome way to do it. Now I know, I don't know, I don't think this, I think it's even better than the, uh, than the iOS, the iOS version of Skype. I think it's a little bit better than the iPhone 4 
camera even. I had a friend of mine and I tested it out last night and he said it looked way better. Um, it's got, you know, you got your Facebook app, your Skype app, your Netflix app. Those are pretty much the three big ones right now. YouTube claims they're going to be putting one out. You got your photo app which you can start up here. You can take uh, widescreen photos which aren't extremely good quality. You can see the quality here of the uh, the couch that we're sitting at. And then you can flip the camera back toward us. Ah, it's me! Hey guys, it's me! It's, uh, yeah, you get it. Um, then you can swap over here and take some video. And I can't get the video on widescreen uh, but you can record the video from both angles and uh, I, you know, it doesn't seem that bad, to be honest. It's not that horrible, but uh, it definitely isn't uh, super duper quality. I mean, if they had a widescreen video option, holy shit. I mean, I would use this as my camera uh, for sure. But uh, can't record the Vita and show the Vita at the same time. That would be, that would be weird. Uh, so yeah, that's one of them. It, I like how easy it is to go back and forth between things. You can be playing your game. That's another thing that's pretty awesome is that you can be playing your video game and have your music playing in the background the whole time. And it's so easy to close programs. It's so easy to get out of a, of a game and go look on the store and then come right back into the action. You could literally be mid, you know, gun battle, hit the PlayStation button here and be thrown back out onto the screen here. Um, and then just swipe over, boom, you got, you know, your shit back in the game, and you're, you're in the middle of the gunfight, no stutter, no nothing. So that's pretty neat. Um, what else, what else, what else? There is a ton of stuff. I mean, you can look at your friends list here. Uh, just like on the PlayStation 3, you've got all your friends. It shows when they come online. It shows when you get trophies. Um, you can take screenshots even if you press the PlayStation button and the start button at the same time. There you go, you take a picture. I have the sound turned off, by the way. If you want to mute the PlayStation Vita, hold these down at the same time. Something took me a while to figure out. Um, but yeah, you got all your friends on here, and it shows what they're up to. Shows what uh, what games they're playing, just like the PS3. And that's how easy it is to close out of a program. Um, you got your maps. You can get the... This is the Wi-Fi edition. Wasn't uh, wasn't too uh, worried about the, the 3G. Here you got the, you know why you would want to figure out who's playing what near you why you would give a shit i don't know but that's there you can also do party chat which is pretty cool for a handheld system uh something the ps vita can do that the ps3 can't um you've also got remote play which really isn't something that i'm going to look into i mean it really it really you're, you're going to be in such a hurry playing a video game if you're in as much a hurry you're like ah shit i gotta go i'm just gonna play my game on the go it's like you're probably in too much of a hurry to play the game, so it's kind of it's kind of dumb to me. But it's a feature that's there nonetheless. Um, the graphics are really good. I know that's something that people want to uh, to take a look at. I'm not going to show any gameplay footage because you can find way better gameplay footage than I can get right here on the internet. Um, but take my word for it. Uh, Uncharted, Gravity Rush, Super Stardust. These games look absolutely phenomenal especially gravity rush to me that game looks fantastic unit 13 is kind of a bland game it honestly to me looks like a psp game with a little bit higher res textures and stuff like that it's really fun though it's it's a it's a good multiplayer or uh not multiplayer you do have online co-op but it's a good game that you can play in short bursts it's not set up to be like a single player story thing you got like 32 missions or some some shit like that, and you can run through those missions at will. You can choose missions that are short or long or or whatever your play play time and style are. So in any case, guys, when it comes to the PlayStation Vita, is it worth the money right now? I would say if you can find one used right now, uh, try and grab that before you buy one brand new. The, uh, the unit itself for the Wi-Fi, I believe, is $250. The game is uh, cost about $40 per game. And then they, they come in these little, if you haven't seen these before, this is the case that the games come in. They come in these itty-bitty cases. And uh, they, they, they these things cost about $40. Bucks. You've got the... Uh, 
sorry, I'm stretching here looking for some shit. You've got this little bitch, literally the size of the end of my pinky. This thing here can cost 20 bucks. This is the, the this this is the lowest uh, memory card they got, I believe. This is a four gig card. That one costs twenty bucks. Then you've got your screen protector, which you're gonna want because you're gonna have you're gonna be touching this shit. That you know that costs ten bucks. You're gonna want a decent case or something, and to get these things bundled with the uh, with the PlayStation Vita earbuds right here, that's gonna cost you another forty bucks. So, I mean, you're looking at a lot of money just to get started with this thing because you're going to want all these accessories with it. Plus, add the Triton AX... No, I'm just kidding. You don't add the Triton Pros. But, uh, <laughs> you know, you're going to want all this stuff to go with it because, you know, you're not going to... Um, you're not going to want to half-ass the, the purchase. Uh, the, the only good thing I can say is once you purchase the, the system, it's not like you have to buy the game immediately. There's tons of demos to hold you over until you can purchase one and the best part about it is that you don't actually have to go out to the store and buy a physical copy of a game you can sit on sit your ass on your couch be sitting there playing a game one second boom switch over and you're playing uncharted the, the next second um, really really awesome um, and I guarantee you just like that PS, PSP library the Vita library will blow up eventually and hopefully it's E3 right now so hopefully we see some badass shit coming out of that that window um, guys, please, uh, leave a comment, tell me what you think about the Vita, if you have one, uh, you know, give some pointers, uh, for people who don't in the, in the comments below, and, uh, tell me your thoughts, do you think I'm a retard for saying maybe you should wait just a little bit longer, or do, are you having massive ass fun with yours right now, like I am, I mean, I am having fun with it, I'm not saying I'm not, uh, what I'm saying is that for, you know, $350, $400 for a purchase, I mean, if you're getting all the bells and whistles, I think that it's very limited on the games that are specific. If you're looking just for the PSP games, obviously go the minimum route, pay for like a used PSP Go for like 90 bucks. Why go the 300 all the way, you know, right now when it when when you could wait a little bit longer because to for me honestly, Uncharted, Unit 13, some of these other little games, there's only a few games that appeal to me, and if that's the case with me, it's probably the case with you cuz you may not like Uncharted, you may not like shooters, you may only like fighting games, there's only two of those, you know, or you may may like racing games, there's only a few of those, you know. But maybe you're that all-around gamer that kicks ass at everything and you're just like, "I'm I'm freaking leap bitch, I'm gonna just pony with everything." And you're just going to buy every game that comes out and enjoy every one of them. Uh, but for a portable system, this is one of those systems that you're going to be sitting in your chair playing most of the time because it's more like a PS3 than it is like a Game Boy. And, you know, Uncharted Uncharted is honestly a lot harder to play in short bursts than a game like Unit 13 or Super Stardust or something like that. So, in any case, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. I love you. Later! That was fucking stupid.